In today's video, I'm doing a Dutch pour. I'm using up some of my leftover burnt sienna from my previous painting. And I also mixed up some yellow and some turquoise. I'm working on some 10 inch canvases and then I also have a set of four inch wood circles in case I have some leftover paint. I can make a set of coasters with those. Each of my colors are mixed with Floetrol and water. I don't have any silicone in this mix. I'm just doing a small puddle of each of the colors in the middle of my canvas and then using my small hair dryer to blow the colors out. I mixed up these paints the way that I normally would and I'm not really sure what happened. They ended up sinking quite a bit into the white paint. I did get some really nice blending of color so I may mix up some more and try again. Um, and even though I'm not completely thrilled with how they turned out, I got some really awesome portions of cells but I just wish that those colors would have stayed um, a little bit more bold throughout the canvas and not I don't know if it was the white that took over or what but it just wasn't as bright and as bold as I would have wanted it to be once they were all dry I wanted to try again, so I just grabbed another canvas. And this time I started in the corner instead of pooling my colors in the middle. Um, I just wanted to try something a little different to see if the colors would not sink this time or if I had used too much white on my last canvas. One thing I like about blowing out the colors from a corner, um, it gives it a really nice, almost like a flower feel. So it's kind of like an abstract flower painting. And I really like the way that that looks. Overall, the colors sunk a little bit in this one too, um, but I do really like the blending of colors that I had in this piece. And again, I just had a ton of cells pop up throughout the piece, um, even without using any silicone. Just that water and Floetrol works really well for me. I did have um, just enough white paint mixed up so that I could do my set of coasters. And similar to the Dutch pours, I'm just adding the white for my base paint. 
and then just taking small amounts of each of my colors and blowing them out. I used a straw for my first coaster, but I wasn't really happy with the way that that one turned out. So with my other three coasters, uh, I just blew on them directly without using the straw and it worked out a lot better. Again, the color sunk a little bit in these, but um, I do like the way they look. I like all the cells that I got in these pieces. And so I will definitely be trying this again with some of these colors um, in a few areas that yellow and the sienna really blended nicely for some really pretty colors. So I'm gonna try that again. Obviously the turquoise and the yellow also made some really awesome green throughout the pieces. So if you want to get um, some really nice blending of colors and just a ton of different colors popping up, you can do uh, quite a few different combinations of colors to get you know, that blue and that yellow to make some extra green in there, even if you weren't using green. I hope you guys like this video. If you wanna check out more of my content, I put out three videos a week. You can subscribe and hit that bell for notifications every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday.